Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Greg Andrews from Search Minerals. How are you today? I'm very well, Tracy, and how are you? Yeah. I'll tell you, I think the Investor Intel audience will really appreciate the conversation we were just having prior to this interview. You were touching on, we were touching on how really great investors make a living by getting in on markets before they take off. And we've been discussing how the rare earths, you know, exploration place in particular, continue to be discounted to market, maybe due to the uh, aptitude it takes to understand this seven cycle. It's not just an exploration production resource play. There's a technology elements. There's chemistry. You know, this is a very exciting sector. So I'm just going to hand this over to you, and and maybe you can t share with our audience what you were talking to me about. Thank you. Sure, Tracy. I mean, we do look at search minerals more as a technology play because of the amount of time and work and effort that needs to go into taking the resource. We've we're, we've been blessed that in our district, we do already have two resources uh, and five projects, and so the the investment uh, community right now is you know we're starting to get some mergers and acquisitions. The MP material deal. Um, uh, that was just recently announced is an indication of, let's say, um, investors that are investing in companies for the long term as a as an industry to be getting in early, capturing undervalued companies ahead of the market when it when it uh, becomes you know the main mainstay. So the sophisticated investors are looking at um, they'll they'll look at who's which projects are nearest term production, who are the most advanced, what are the people? And those are the things that we like to look, you know, when we're talking to investors, that that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for the the um, quick flip project. They're looking to get into the undervalued companies. They understand it's a hold and, and they believe that as the companies continue to hit their milestones, continue to work. We never stopped working in 2013, Tracy, when, when we're, we're out of, flavor. Um, we continued, we completed two pilot plants in that time. We've produced carbonates and concentrate. We're testing for the separation, all the steps necessary. So when this market does turn around, which we're starting to see it is, that we're ready for it. So we're not as opposed to just starting again because the market is getting ready. We, we've been working to be ready for the market that's coming up now. Well, having followed Search Minerals for at least a decade now, I couldn't agree with you more. And of course, I want you just, if you wouldn't mind, touching on the competitive advantages. And I would like to lead by saying that this is not just a family and friends, but a local community. You have provincial support, and you are often heralded as an example of a company that the community has is standing behind in support on every level. Yeah, that's, you know, it, it's a fantastic support in especially the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, we have the community support. We have our, our core shack and our exploration house is right in the town of St. Louis. Uh, Dr. Randy Miller and Suzanne have been there for nine weeks uh, finishing the exploration program. We're in our trucks in the community. They're all asking us what's happening. They're pretty much all shareholders, it seems. Um, and but more importantly, not only community support, we also have very strong indigenous support with the Nenetukovic Community Council. And with, um, you know, they're looking at how we can how we can further partner and how they can help with jobs and training as we start to I mean, that kind of dovetails in, you know, what we're doing with our, you know, uh, demonstration plant that we are getting costed so that we can build a demonstration plant, which would allow us to uh, train the local communities and get ready for a processing facility that that would be built there. So once again, we're, you know, and including that talking with our indigenous groups and partners and you know, workplace is talking with the schools, get the, you know, we have a timeline of when we can be ready and we need the schools to get ready, the training to get ready. And so we, you know, we have a good lead time, but we're, we're very cognizant of what's gonna be required to get this project working in our, uh, you know, in the area of our, our district. And of course, I can't underscore enough for our investors the, the value of your community relations with indigenous community. And you have consistently been achieving milestone after milestone consistently since you've been CEO for, for how long now, Greg? 
oh, 2015, I think, 26, 2015 in that capacity. And, um, you know, we, we when we came on board, you know, we wanted to get the uh, demonstration plant, our pilot plant completed. We have great government support, both from provincial and federal levels to f help us finance these demonstration plants, pilot plants, so that we're not doing dilutive financings to our, to our shareholders in that regard. We've received close to $3 million in government funding to, to advance these uh, technology studies because it is nouveau. And, you know, with Dr. David Dreisinger leading our um, demonstration plant, pilot plant, um, you know, our technology is one of our benefits of our, why we continue to, you know, I was asked, why do you stay in it? And it's because we have a great resource, but we have the technology by eliminating those, you know, that those processes of grinding, flotation, magnetic gravity separation eliminates so much capital costs, operating costs, which is really the stumbling point of, of competitors to get into production and produce a carbonate and concentrate that is sellable at, at prices that you can actually make money at. I'm doing an interview later this afternoon called The Rare Metal Wars, where I'm pitting Guillaume, uh, sorry, Guillaume Patron, the author of The Rare Metal, Metals War, with Jack Lifton of the Technology Metal Show. Greg, I'd like to just put this offer out to you in front of our audience. I'd love to have you on with Jack Lifton and Dr. David Dreisinger in the future. Would you be willing to do this? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, David Dreisinger is such a um, renowned metallurgist and, and leader in, in this space for us and for others. And, um, you know, it's so important, you know, to to look at, at you know, the resource. People can understand the technology. He explains it so well, and it is so simple, except it's it's what's required to get to the next step for us. And, of course, you and I both know wisdom from years of experience that there are no shortcuts in life. And when I, I said to you, uh, when, you're le when is your next news release out, you did correct me and say, Tracy, we only put news out when we achieve the milestones and mandates that we have set forth and we're well on our way. So what should we as shareholders anticipate in this next coming quarter or two? Yeah, in the upcoming quarters, we'll be... Um producing our results from our 2020 exploration program on those three, on three prospects that we worked on. We're looking to do a funding program to do a drill program, a fall drill program on Deep Fox. And more importantly, we'll be taking our engineering study uh, for the demonstration plant and going to our, our sourcing partners, be it the government, um, to look for the funding of uh, another dilute of funding for that demonstration plant. Okay, of course, I think you've talked on some really valuable points here. I mean, Tom Wilson's trying to educate our audience on how zirconium is the, the miracle element on the periodic table we all need to give more attention to. So I'm going to have to get you and Tom in an interview. Is that okay? That's okay, too. Thank you for joining us today, Greg, and thanks for the update on Search Minerals. Thanks, Tracy.